Let's look a look. Silly Billy. You cross with me because I'm sitting in your warm pad. Oh no, here he is, look. Hello, my love. Hello. Oh. He's doing some neat sitting. Oh, he's a good boy. There's a good boy. Hello, everybody. I'm sorry. I haven't recorded anything up till now. It's just been a manic day of dying and advent prepping. So there really has been very little for me to actually record that I could show you. But here I am now, and I remembered that I've got these to show um, that should have been in the basket when I was looking through other new Halloween stuff. And these are um, obviously little Halloween jingle bells, and I want to make a garland out of them. It's got lots of hanging threads in it, but I want to get some of the sparkly um, black thread, um, crochet thread that you can get and crochet a chain and put one of these onto it every so often. So on Tuesday, maybe if I get into town, I can go into Fred's and buy some of that. And then this is going to be a garland to go around my little Christmas tree. Well, a certain Mr. Pippin is showing quite a lot of interest in these lovely jingly bells. There's loads in here. I think they came from Amazon. They are extremely jingly, aren't they? I've managed to do some work on the shawl at last. Last night and this morning, early doors, I put the first of the minis in. And then I started, I've done five rows of the eight, I think, one, two, three, four, five, yes, of the second orange stripe. Uh, and after I had done this first one, this first um, mini chunk, I realised that the... I'm not going to get two stripes out of one mini. I'm, uh, I'm getting one stripe and a little chunk left over. So let's have a little look at it. See if I can find in my bag of tricks one handed. No, nope, not that one. Where are we? I know it's in here somewhere. I was only showing Paula it earlier. Let's see. There it is, silly little thing. Hello, that's all I've got left of the first 20 gram mini. I'd say that's five grams if that. So that'll be enough to make some tassels with afterwards, but it won't be enough to make the um, shawl wide enough. So, Last night I went and I ordered another set. <laughs> I'm not doing very well, am I? Because then this evening, whilst Ivy was at her Friday evening activity, I sit in my car usually and crochet or knit for an hour. Um, I watched Ali, um, This Little Wonderful Life, Ali and um, Gainer from Tales from Cuckoo Land, <clears throat> whilst uh, I was sat crocheting and waiting for her. And I suddenly caught sight of my orangey skein and thought, oh, that's got very small. So uh, I weighed it. Bearing in mind, I've got another three and a bit rows of this chunk to do. And I've got 71 grams of this left out of a bit more than 100 grams. So my math skills tell me that I'm not going to have enough of this either. And of course, I didn't write down what amounts of the dye I used. So tomorrow I shall dye another skein as near as I can and then get it dried so that I can alternate and do one. <laughs> it's a good job I'm determined, isn't it? I shall do one orange stripe in one of the skeins then the next orange stripe in the alternate one so that it spreads it out evenly. I'm not backing this up now. No, too stubborn for that. Anyway, I'm just set up with my, I've got a couple of laps on Sushong, which is why it looks so weak and wazzy because it is a very pale tea. I'll just have a quick sip. 
Oh my, that is lovely. I didn't fancy anything sweet or fruity tonight, so no hot chocolate, no fruit tea. I thought I'd have a cheeky cup of lapsang. I've lit some candles and I've got YouTube up. So I'm going to watch a Rachel from So Ray Me and I'm going to catch up with some of the other ones that I haven't had a chance to watch yet. And tomorrow I will have more interesting footage for you, I promise. So I'm sorry today has been a short day, but I'm sure you'll appreciate that my priority has been getting those advents sorted. So I'll say good night and I'll see you in the morning.